wildfires continue to burn across BC. So on the first day of the smoke, I had a lot of fun with um, photographing it. it the, I mean, it was, it was absolutely orange for a whole day and I was very excited to go out after work and photograph it. But today is day four or five of this horrible smoke and I don't know what got into me to ride my bike to work instead of driving, but it was definitely a bad idea. I mean, I absolutely have no regrets <coughs> for going out there and photographing some beautiful light. I got some awesome shots. I got, I got to see and film. I got to see, what's his name? Uh, I got to see a beaver. And so, I'm very happy that I went out there, but I'm so sick of this smoke. So I wanted to tell you about this week's photo shoot and some cool stuff that I've learned about. I want to have a shower first though. There's currently over a hundred forest wildfires uh, in the state of British Columbia and a pressure system has brought over the smoke from at least one of them. It has created this very orange looking light that has persisted for a whole day and I want to photograph it.
They're predicting that it's actually meant to clear out soon, but who knows, it's a forecast. I hope it does, because... I've spent half the day at work with a uh, with a face mask on and just couldn't take it. I had to like sit down in a corner and gasp for air because it was so hard. I've actually kept the house sealed up with no windows open today because it was absolutely terrible. But anyway, I've got something to show you. Stand on the opposite shore Hello, Ramona I reach through mysterious ceilings My mm. Yes, I'm drinking a coffee. I'm wearing different clothes and you can probably see me better. And obviously it means it's a different day. The reason behind that is I needed to reshoot this whole video because my previous explanation of what I'm about to explain didn't make any sense. It was absolutely rubbish, essentially. The rule of thirds is something I've had my mind on for quite some time. It is one of the most common things you hear in photography. And that is placing your object of interest third of the way into the photograph and third of the way up into a photograph. And uh, Bruce states that there's, there was an 1850s professor that did a statistical uh, study of 250 paintings by uh, the greats and has um, arrived at a conclusion of what I just said, third way into a photograph and third way up. Now, his argument is that you shouldn't be mixing statistics and art because it just doesn't work that way. Uh, I tried to look into this whole study, I couldn't find anything, but that could be my own incompetence. What I do like about this, uh, Bruce's explanation is that you, you should approach things differently. And you approach them differently by, uh, considering whether you want strength, stability, or a sense of balance in your photograph which is conveyed by placing things in the center. Um, sometimes it may work, sometimes it may not. Sometimes you might want to show imbalance by placing st something on the edge of the frame. Uh, perhaps maybe you want to create a balance by placing things, two objects, uh, on opposite sides of the photograph. That way it, it has a nice flow and you look at the photograph from one to the end to one end to the other and see the balance that way. What I find that's kind of um, hilarious is his ending to this whole uh, argument. And what he says is that the rule of thirds is a cornerstone for much teaching about composition, sinking to its lowest ebb in camera club and professional photographic competitions, where it's considered the epitome of fine composition. It's an idea that best belongs in the trash can. Every image must be approached on its own merits. So what this book has done is has made me think. Uh, and I went back and looked at my old photographs and considered the fact that not everything has to have a rule of thirds. And I found a couple of images that were uh, intentionally cropped into a rule of thirds. And by removing that crop, it actually has created a stronger composition. So it's definitely worth thinking what you want to achieve and why you're doing things instead of just uh, sheepishly following things you've heard about. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.